what's and a big warm welcome back to my channel i hope you all had a lovely new year's i hope you all had a fantastic entry into the new year now that we are in 2021 i hope that we are all on the same wavelength we're all gonna have a great year i can't wait anyway today's video is another one sponsored by the lovely smackney this is their instagram here which will be linked in the description um, at the end of the video for you to check out so will their website so that you can have a look at the products on there so today's video is a very interesting one and a topic that i didn't really know much about before i looked into it and now that i have looked into it it explains so much so today's topic is all about purging so we're going to dive into what purging is we're going to look at the differences between a purge and a breakout we're going to be talking about is purging bad you know it's something that a lot of people experience when changing over onto acne treatments especially ones with active ingredients in so it's really important just to address what purging is so that you don't feel alone and you don't feel like your skin is taking 10 steps back rather than 10 steps forward because that is definitely not the case so yeah let's just jump straight into today's video and let's talk all about purging I'm also going to finish with a little bit of acne myths and debunking them because there are a lot of acne myths out there which just baffle me that people are trying to get people to believe but anyway we're going to debunk some common acne myths as well okay so I'm going to first talk about what purging actually is so basically purging is a process of when you try out a new product specifically an acne treatment that has active ingredients in which are things such as AHAs and BHAs so you've got your salicylic acid your benzoyl peroxide those kind of exfoliating acids that can have this effect this is because the acids work to exfoliate the top layer of the epidermis which is where all the dead skin cells lay so basically the acids help to work the skin cells work in overdrive thus making all the lower layers of the skin come to the surface quicker and so all those blemishes that were hiding deep under the skin are coming to the surface in what seems like overnight so basically purging is the reaction on your skin when a new product with an active ingredient increases cell turnover that is the straightforward answer as to what purging is i'm going to quickly address this hole right here which i'm really annoyed about i've got my lovely angel collection jumpsuit for christmas and it's got a hole in it already and i've literally worn it twice so yeah i've sent them a little email and we'll see what they come back with but just ignore this it's too comfy to take off so i'm just gonna roll with it so typically the dead skin cell layer on the top of the epidermis normally takes around 28 days to turn over and for that dead skin to then flake off and be gone. So basically as your skin layers constantly turn over and the cells constantly renew, that is in simple terms what these acids do. They quicken up that process to make all the layers come to the surface quicker and then the top layer being shed off quicker. So normally it takes about four to six weeks of using a product to get used to it. So normally purging happens quite instantaneously of when you start using the product itself it's normally after a couple of uses that you will then purge it isn't as common to be using it for a while and then have a purge but this can be the case if you're starting on a lower acid and increasing up your percentage skin purging isn't a bad thing skin purging is actually a really really good thing because basically what it's doing is treating your acne from the inside out so rather than just treating the blemishes on your face which smacne has ingredients to do it also has these ahas and bhas which stimulate this cell turnover which then brings all of those clogged pores all of those deep under rooted spots to come to the surface and then it gets rid of them purging can be a really hard process to go through and it makes you want to give up on your products but that is literally the last sprint until your clear skin you have to go through the purge which takes about four to six weeks of getting used to the product it can sometimes take up to eight weeks and then after that point you should have clear skin so it's all about pushing through that purge keeping going and you will get your clear skin at the end of it so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to talk a little bit about my purging experience whilst on smackney so I experienced purging quite a bit, which can be seen in my results photos where it seemed to be that my skin was getting better and then it kind of took a turn for the worst. So I will pop up a picture here of when I first started using Smackney. And then I will pop a, another one up of about a month into treatment, a little bit less, where you can see that my skin has kind of looked a bit worse. So this was when my skin purged. So my skin purged, I wanna say about three weeks into using the treatment. And yeah, it was a little bit disheartening because obviously I didn't really know much about purging at the time. 
I've learned so much about purging through Smackney, through researching for this video, and I now fully understand what was happening to my skin, whereas at the time I really didn't understand. I genuinely thought this isn't working, you know, this isn't right for my skin, but I stuck with it. I stuck with it, I carried on my routine, and this is another thing that I talk about with Smackney, is they're always there for advice. So I reached out and I was basically like, I'm not sure what's happening here, and they explained that my skin could be going through a purging stage. So what's really important about Smackney is you get that support from the company, which you don't get with a lot of other brands. They are very close knit and they very much interact with all of their buyers. It is a really, really great little community for lots of support with your acne, which can be a really hard time. So that really helped me to realize, okay, I just need to carry on going and it will get better. And it did, it took about another month and a half of pushing through my skin, going better than purging, then better than purging. It was a little bit on and off. And then recently my skin has just got so much better. My amount of acne has just reduced overall. So I'm seeing little to no new blemishes in different areas that I hadn't had before. And overall, I just haven't had that purging. My skin is a lot more settled down now because it has gotten used to the acids that I'm using on my skin. So as you can see in those pictures, you can see when I purged. I'll also pop up another one here, which is a more updated one. So you can see how it's kind of gone like that. So it started off at my starting point. We then purged and now we're at this stable point where my skin is getting so clear. All my redness, my scarring is reducing day by day. And it really is amazing. You just have to trust the process. A really important topic to to talk about here is the difference between a purge and a breakout or a skin reaction because the two are very different. A purge indicates that the products are simply getting into the lower layers of your epidermis and bringing up any of that bad stuff that was lingering under there or as a breakout can show that you need something stronger this product isn't working for you or possibly it's irritating your skin too much and maybe even causing an allergic reaction. Things that can be quite common in acne treatments are dermatitis, it can sometimes flare up skin conditions like like psoriasis and eczema if the percentage is too high so it's really important to keep an eye on your skin especially if you're prone to those skin conditions in the past so the difference between purging and breakouts is a lot in the way that they appear and a lot in the way that they look so the most important thing about a purge is that the pustules and papules will appear in the same place that you normally break out so for me i very much commonly break out in my chin area and also on my forehead so when i was going through my purge a lot of my break breakouts were around my chin and on my forehead so basically that just shows you that there are other things that were lying underneath the surface that would have come out in time however a breakout is a lot different because you're getting spots in places that you have never broken out before so say in my situation if I then started getting spots on my cheeks that would have been a breakout because characteristically that is not where I would have normally broken out so when we're talking about the appearance of breakouts versus purging a breakout is normally more red it'll be more sore to touch the whole skin will kind of look irritated however purging normally looks like tiny little bumps under the skin it can sometimes give the skin a little bit of a sandpaper texture and this can sometimes be pustules and papules so you can sometimes get those red angry spots but nowhere near as much as a breakout and it rarely causes any kind of big cystic acne so if you're seeing that it is more than likely your acne is flaring up and you're having new breakouts rather than your skin purging from your new acne treatment so can you avoid purging unfortunately you can't avoid purging if your skin is going to purge then it's going to purge the reasons why your skin is purging is because it can be more sensitive to certain types of products these are the active ingredients that i've been talking about before and these include things like retinols ahas and bhas which are commonly the three things that are in acne treatment smacne itself contains ahas and bhas like i mentioned which is why this product can sometimes cause of purging despite not being able to stop purging you can slow it down however it doesn't come without its downfalls so if you are purging and it's getting a little bit intolerable you can reduce the amount of products you're using the strength or the frequency so for me i did reduce down to every other night rather than every night using my acne treatment and you can kind of just gauge it on how your skin is reacting so of course using less of the active ingredient will slow down that exfoliation process and in turn slow down the purging process however if you do this it will take longer to reach your end goal 
This is because reaching your clear skin goal needs to get all of this stuff out and you're better to just bear the brunt of it and get through it rather than slowing out the process and waiting even longer for the clear skin that you dream of. It's also important to note that not everyone will purge. If you're watching this thinking, I don't want to try that, I don't want to purge, not everyone will purge. You know, there is a percentage of people that definitely do not purge. Whilst it is more common for people to purge, this is more common if you've had quite oily, congested skin before. So for me, I had a lot of comedones. I had a lot of blocked pores, especially around my chin area. And I had quite an oily T-zone. So purging for me was more than likely. So if you struggle with oily or combination skin like myself, you struggle with clogged pores, blackheads, then you might be likely to purge as well. And normally it takes about six to eight weeks for the purging process to calm down and you to be on the other end of it. So honestly, you've just got to stick it out and you will get there. Okay, so now that we have done a purging 101, I hope that you're all knowledgeable on purging. If you do have any more questions, there is information on Smackley's website, which is linked in the description. You can also ask me any questions in the comments and I will try to answer. But there are so many resources online that explain purging, what it is and why it's actually very good for your skin. So it's worth checking those out if purging is something that you are worried about. But honestly, if purging is the thing that's stopping you from starting smack knee then honestly don't let it coming from me that's gone through purging it really isn't that bad and i know that it can take a massive toll on your self-esteem and things like that i struggled through that as well but you just have to remain consistent you just have to keep going because you have to remember that this is the last step before you get your clear skin goal so honestly don't let it put you off it's something that a lot of people go through so you can get a lot of support whilst you're going through the purging process even smack knee themselves if you're really struggling don't forget to reach out to them i'm now going to talk about some common acne myths and we're going to debunk them because i definitely think that this is something that should be put in this video because you hear a lot of people say different things about acne and most of it is not true so myth number one is that if something worked for your friend it's of course going to work for you now if your friend is telling you that this cleared up her spots you know you need to try it this is going to clear your skin no no thank you everybody's skin is different while she might have the same skin type it is very unlikely that your skin has the same properties so something that worked for your friend is more than likely to not work for you and could even possibly make your skin 10 times worse so definitely do your research definitely seek out things that are for your skin type that is why i love smackney because it's for so many different skin types you know it's not just a one size fits all it covers all broad spectrum of skin types it covers sensitive skin as well which i also struggle from so the next one is that exfoliation will fix acne so despite me saying that exfoliating can help remove the top layer of skin i'm mainly talking about chemical exfoliation so using those acids manual exfoliation can more than likely be too harsh for your skin so you're not actually taking off that top layer of dead skin cells most of the time you'll just leave them hanging off which is not going to do anything and it can also irritate your skin a lot more causing that redness that erythema just making your skin a lot more sensitive and more sore so if you are using acne treatments it can make it almost unbearable when your skin is super sensitive especially when you are using these products like benzoyl peroxide it can just be too much to hack okay this one i think is kind of a straightforward one but picking and popping your acne is like sometimes okay so i would say it's never okay i mean if you really really have to do it then just do it sterile just ugh, i don't even want to say that because i don't want you guys doing that picking and popping your acne causes so much more risks than it does benefits i know if you have an event and you have a massive white head you just want to get rid of it but honestly that will cause so much redness and the risk of that scarring after is immense and some acne scarring when it has deep ingrowths and things like that that can sometimes not be gotten rid of so it's really important to think about the long term with your skin rather than a short term help okay next one is that acne is just for teens this is the biggest no-no you know i mean yes because there's a lot of hormones when you're a teenager going through puberty the menstrual cycle testosterone all of that lovely stuff is a harbor for acne to come out and show its ugly face 
but acne you can also get in babies and adult acne is very common you can have someone that will go all the way throughout their teens with nothing and then break out in their adult years acne is a disease you know it's not something that is a one glove fits all it definitely comes to different people at different times you know some people will never ever struggle with acne and i'm very jealous of those people i am not one of them but Yes, it's very important to remember that if you are struggling with acne and you're not a teenager, you're not alone. So many people struggle with acne into their later 20s and further on into their adult lives. Okay, so this one is a pretty big one and that is that sugar and diet causes acne. So people might hate on me on this, but there is actually no scientific proof or enough scientific proof that there's a direct correlation to things like sugar, um, grease, dairy and their effects on acne so you may read things in different places saying the complete opposite to what i've just said but from what i can see and what i've read online and what i learned throughout my beauty therapy career is that yes a healthy diet is super important because it helps all of the systematic things in your body which sometimes can help with the reduction of acne but like i said acne is a disease it is something that if you've got it it's something that you probably will be struggling with in fits and bursts for quite a long period and unfortunately sorting things just like a diet isn't always enough when you're eating healthier yes that is a reduction on grease what i like to say is if you're eating a really greasy pizza internally that's not going to have an effect on your acne however externally all that grease on your face will clog your pores will cause that bacteria harboring in those pores and can cause acne so in some ways it can but there isn't enough scientific evidence to say that there is a direct correlation between diet and acne last but not least is the fact that drinking water cures acne so water is so important i cannot stress this enough water detoxifies your body it flushes out all of the bad stuff so it is super super important and it's really important to stay hydrated for your skin because it prevents you then getting dry skin and getting dehydrated skin which can then break you out however drinking gallons and gallons of water isn't actually going to clear your skin the only thing it does is help flush out any of those internal factors any of the bad stuff any of those toxins but it'll have no direct correlation to your face so all in all making healthier life choices are great for your skin and just the overall health of your body so definitely drink more water and definitely try and stick to a healthier diet when you can but if you have a cheesy pizza or if you forget to drink water one day, it's not the end of the world. It will not cause a ginormous breakout. And that's the message that I want you guys to take from this. So that was a long winded video with a lot of information in. I hope that you enjoyed it. Like I mentioned at the start, all of Smackney's links will be in the description bar below. So don't forget to check those out. They also have a free trial offer on where you can trial out the products and just pay shipping which is absolutely amazing if you're wanting to try out the products but don't want to fully commit, but I'm sure you will after trying them. So if you did enjoy this video, if you found it helpful, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Also, leave me a comment below if you have any questions about purging. If this is something that you've dealt with yourself, just anything, leave it in the comments. And also, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click on that subscribe button and also click on the bell next to it, which will notify you whenever I upload, which currently is every Friday and Sunday, and that is at 7 p.m. UK time. So make sure that you are there and I will see you all in my next video. Take care. Bye, guys.